for the stream to catch up at least a little bit. All right. Full throttle remastered. Now, I have to warn you, um, the sound is not well balanced. So sometimes the music and the dialogue are just crazy loud, and other times it's going to be really quiet. For, wh for whatever reason, if we look at this, this bothers the hell out of me. It always bothers the hell out of me when people can't get volume controls. They got music, they got sound effects, they got voice and movie together. They needed to separate voice and have movie as its own volume as well, because sometimes the movies are really goddamn loud. But the speech is quiet. So anyway, just warning you that, uh, you know, adjust your volume and maybe don't listen through headphones for a while. <laughs> but anyway, let's begin. Uh, let's start a new one. Oh yeah, Pocket Ninja's going to enjoy picking out the names. I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Believe, no strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah, when I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip further, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plans, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Well, sir, that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. You know, I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Waters customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. You know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are.
You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Just relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Uh, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> All right. Who's the guy that drove over my car? What could have possibly been taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two by four. Hmm. An appealing notion, but improbable. More likely, he's boring you to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that old evil? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We have come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen. I said we're not for rent. The polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Excellent idea. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the rot wheelers. The old man says it's the polecats are nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go to this motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200 pound loose end. <laughs> It'll need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys. Yahoo! Poor Bill, here we come. Yeah, I like Ben's voice. Okay, so the game is significantly louder now than the cutscenes, so... Just so you know. Um, and yes, I agree about the soundtrack. In fact, I... <laughs> um... God, so I must have played this game back in the 2000s in high school, right? This game came out in, like, 95. And this was the first thing I ever bought off of eBay. And I liked the soundtrack so much that I actually went onto Napster and found every song and downloaded the song, because it wasn't just a full soundtrack. So this game is as old as the beginning of eBay and Napster... <laughs> And all that stuff. So this is uh, this is a little bit of my history here. Anyway, yeah, I like Ben's Ben's voice. I've woken up and worse. 
Take that. They're empty. I'm not putting my lips on that. That's probably one of the best lines. That's kind of like a... I'm not putting my lips on that. Like the, the Manny can of Calavera, um, that's not on fire <laughs> from Grim Fandango. Empty boxes. You really should flatten these so they can be recycled. Yeah, he can flatten his own boxes. All right. Another thing this game has with the remaster that uh, would have been really nice in the dig is that I can do this and highlight clickable areas, which is a little bit of a cheat, but it's there anyway. The kickstand. Good thing Ripburger didn't touch my bike. Good thing for him. Some joker took my keys. I don't like that. That's another one. I don't like that. Putting my lips on that. Open up. It's empty, but I can see the bartender in there. Open up. I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. I've never liked nose rings. Me neither, but someone dared me. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang took off with those... those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. <laughs> I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? What do you have? I wanna know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. You should learn to handle your liquor. You want something? What do you got for a headache? A little sympathy. Thanks. But not much. You want something? I wish they just kept the dialogue tree open. I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. You gonna order something? No. You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. <coughs> now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing. Nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole, Gantz? I'd better get moving. I've got nothing to say. Before we go... What's this? It's a big blobby gray shape. I was taking an art class. Good thing that's a badger. Why? Because if that were a dead polecat, I'd have to trash the place. Its little feet are nailed to the piano. Man, I wish they had a jukebox. Yeah, right. Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. I'm not putting my lips on that. I'm not putting my lips on that. So, as you can tell, um, 
by the technology hanging everywhere. Doesn't have any controls. Yeah, the signal was piped in from Kickstand National Headquarters. And the uh, the hover cars and whatnot. My understanding of the the setting is that it's sort of like this post-apocalyptic future. That's kind of implied by the song there in the title screen too. Ah, booze. Hmm. It's empty. Don't get any ideas. All right. We can get out of here. So it wouldn't be a biker game without fight. Yeah, the audio is terrible for a remake. And you can have the, the remastered and the classic settings and they don't seem to, to affect it, because I tried. This is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. What are you? I'm a mechanic. And apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Yeah, man, that... It was such a mistake putting voice and movie volume in the same track because it's just all over the place my name's Ben who are you Maureen remember if that's too hard maybe you should just stick with Mo do you have a last name I prefer not to use it what about you same deal then it's Ben and Mo forever I guess where'd you learn bikes I grew up working on them with my dad one summer, we did nothing but restore this old hardtail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But 
he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. This an authorized Corley Service Center. Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. The dialogue's still pretty good, though, if they drop a few hints. I gotta get out of this town, fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? My gang's in trouble. Polecats? How'd you know that? Big emblem on the back of your jacket. They're headed for an ambush, so I gotta catch them. Well, you better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? How's it look? Well, it's better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new. Just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. All right. So despite this gigantic workshop, there are very few things to actually touch and look at around here. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. That's important. Wish this gas can was full. Hmm. This hole smells like gas. Hint, hint. Okay. Oh, good. You're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos, and you helped. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Um, I... I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I... I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm with our wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. Pretty small to be carrying me around. I rolled you. I wonder if there's other dialogue options. Ride yet? No. I didn't think so. All right, there is this. It's empty. Well, just for the dialogue's sake. Oh, we can close it. Cool.
I don't want to hurt Moe's mailbox. I'm not putting my lips on that. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. She lied. All right. So, we were told to go to the trailer to talk to the guy who owns the junkyard. The puzzles <coughs> seem much simpler in this game, which is nice. Apparently, this guy has a dog. It's even sadder looking inside. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely a, a, the good time Either period. Someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub code wiring. I'm not putting my lips on that. Locked, but flimsy looking. Probably all that's holding this dump up. Smells like burning metal down there. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, uh, attempting his gruff voice would definitely. However, it is probably a voice that I could do. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is kind of an early hint here, too. Like, easy, we know we need to be down there because of the welding torch. Who's out there? Hey! I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy! I don't got time to waste on bums like you. I'm a friend of Moe's. I need... Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. You hear me? I'm no crook. So get off my back already. What do you want? I... This is important. Not to me, you crazy looking hood. Now beat it! You not for a reason or you just... And you can kick everything. <laughs> Solving your problems with boots. Yeah, it seems pretty short. If you don't go screwing this around. Defines true beauty. I'm not putting my lips on that. I think he's had enough. Looks like a cabinet to me. It's a lockpick. His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. I pictured him having a much larger fridge. It's weird that it's a cabinet, though. It's either dog food or this guy's dinner. trying to bring these to life or anything like that. Not a bad version, really. That would make a good mailbox post in hell. Better hustle this back to Mo. <coughs> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. Alright. I'm gonna go back in here just just to look at the rest of the stuff. Just 
There's a few other things in here to look at. Nothing that we need. But. I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. Ouch. I nominate that as least offensive in show. Okay, yeah, there's not much in there. I guess we can go here since we're right here. I don't think I can solve the puzzle yet. It comes out a hole in the bottom and goes over that pulley to the other side of the wall. Heavy looking. No luck. This should be easy. Now, some of the puzzles in this game are kind of like this, where you're not quite sure if these are separate entities because the cursor doesn't move, and you actually can't see the latch at all in the highlights. Where the junkyard entrance? Todd's junkyard. Open up, Todd. Oh, yeah. I knocked him out. Welcome back, Pocket Ninja. Right, we need to go to the gas station. I bet that thing's full of gas. If only I could get in there. Yeah, what's what's interesting is that they did stuff like that, where they made the, the dialogue contextual, but then if you come back here after we open this door, he'll still say the same thing about the tower. The top of this fence is electrified. The top of this fence is right. electrified. Tough looking padlock. the gate's not electrified. I don't know if you've been listening or not, Pocket Ninja, but there's a lot of voices in here. I couldn't break that lock. Just happen to have a lock pick. We're also going to need the lock. Welcome, Alfie. All right. Hmm. Uh, Mark Hamill is in here. He's the bad guy. Sounds like the sound cut out just a little bit there. Okay, well, we'll do this one more time just for the, the dialogue's sake. The very unsound balanced klaxon. A dialogue? Okay. I guess you have to uh, do more here. Get back in there. Okay. So, uh, thing about this is that uh, you know when you, when you get something interacti interactable, you get the red around your cursor, but uh, that doesn't 
always tell you everything you can interact with. And so if you do the, the highlight, it shows you this thing, but it's not totally interactable. So you have to click on it to know that you can come behind it. Yeah, he's one of the henchmen. seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. Alright. I don't trust anything without wheels. No, I don't want the ladder. Don't don't touch the ladder. I'd say that's where the gas goes. All right. We just happen to have some Come on. Some valuable items that smell like gas, which are kind of a hint as to what we need to do here. This time, I am putting my lips on that. Hey, who's that down there in the yard? It's him. Get him. Where? Over there. Quick. You go around the other side and we'll have him cornered. Where'd he go? Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No, let's call on reinforcements. Oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Just a pair of new forks and we're on the road. Yeah, exactly. He was losing half the tank as he was running out there. All right. I really do like the aesthetic of this game. Not just the, the animation style, but just the whole setting. It's really a unique universe. You, LucasArts made really good games. All right. So, we can't keep the door open with the chain down. And you'd think, maybe. That's not something I want to lock. Yeah. But then it's this hidden padlock thing we got to deal with, actually. Just the kind of forks I need, right on top. Down. Bad dog. Yeah, I don't know. The The ending is a little bit lackluster. So I've been reading the novelization of The Dig that came with it in the, the GOG.com package. 
they changed a bit. I mean, the, the plot is more or less the same, but they changed a few things. And I, I'm su suspicious that they did that so that it wasn't like a, a walkthrough, you know, so it didn't give away everything you needed to, to do in the game. Ooh, fire damage. Forget about it. Down. Who needs dogs? See, what else do we have to look at here? Nothing there. Motorcycles never die of old age. That part's kind of annoying because it's timed. Make you run all the way back over here. Down. Who needs dogs? There is one other spot that doesn't highlight. So the hint system is not totally hold your hand, which I guess is nice. There we go. I think I want to turn that off just right now. Just get it into position. And then I don't understand this decision. So he, he comes in this way to climb the tower to get in there. But then when he comes out, he climbs down here and then comes all the way along the wall. One thing we have in the inventory here is some meat. We gotta be quick about it here. Here, poochie pooch. Pooch. Bon appetit, mud. Right. That's not enough to get rid of the dog, though. The puzzles are definitely simplified in this game. If this were Monkey Island, we would have had to find a flower, and then we would have had to mix it into some sleep potion thing. Alright, that ought to do it. Where'd you go, Ben? There he is. fight like a cow. So so there's no insult fighting in this game, but there is fighting sort of like that. Eventually we're going to end up in a, a biker fight loop where we're going to have to find weapons that defeat certain types of bikers and... oh boy. <clears throat> knives, forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. I'm working on a surprise. I hate surprises. All right, here she comes. Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. 
but only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you gonna try this thing out or not? Ooh, wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. <laughs> Just sets everything on fire when he leaves. All right, look lively. He's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. See him? No. Keep looking. Missed out on the intro, fucking ninja. Alright. Not on foot. I don't walk. Yeah, I think you'd yeah, appreciate the soundtrack. I've already said my goodbyes. Alright. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket, cause I'd had a tank full. When she blew my gasket, I surely was thankful. Till I head for the skies up above It's a woman with wheels that I love <sighs> Come on, old man I gotcha Now, do something incriminating Like ambush somebody Aha, the plot thickens You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No. Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road? Corley? Corley? Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <coughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Oh. <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me, you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah, 
And she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt the first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Marine. Marine? <laughs> That one actually worked out. Ripburger's way ahead of me. I just hope Marine can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why do you bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Holy motors! Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rick, but I think that pile is Boris. <sighs> yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Mo's shack, but I don't see the limo. Man, that sound... <laughs> that volume change. On second thought, maybe I didn't. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. I don't think there's anything else in here. It's not in my... it is in my inventory. I can't... okay. Can't look at it individually. I was thinking maybe there's directions or something on it. Okay. So we actually have a couple ways of going here. I think if we go back here we'll see another blockade. One hell of a turn right there, too. So much for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. save because I haven't been haven't ever been saving all right so that's the end of the beginning between the beginning and the end I don't remember much of the game except for the bike fights 